y'all, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel, Katie Garrison Fitness. And today we'll be talking about the Apple Watch versus the Garmin Instinct Solar. Which one is the best fitness tracker? Let's find out. Activity trackers can be such a great tool to help motivate an active lifestyle by tracking steps, calories, floors, standing time, to tracking your workouts, to even integrating with call, text, things like that on your phone. You can see Tanner's little booty behind me. He's hiding, he's camera shy today. And my favorite of all is they help you stay accountable to your fitness goals. So we've had these watches for over a year now. My husband, Matt, has the Garmin Instinct Solar and I have the Apple Watch Series 5. Yes, I don't have the Series 8, but I have done my research and I know what the Series 8 has to offer as well. So we'll be talking about the Series 8 just a little bit as we go throughout the video today. But for the most part, having worn these watches for an entire year, we absolutely love them. So let's preface the video with that. We are huge fans of both these watches. Um, I love how the Apple Watch suits my lifestyle and he loves how the Garmin watch suits his lifestyle. So in this video today, we're going to do a rating of each of these watches in five different criteria. First off, we have battery life, we have activity tracking, we have app integration, workout tracking, and finally community and extra features. So to jump right in, our first category here is battery life. The battery life on these two devices is totally different and I'm gonna explain just why. So to start off with my Apple Watch here, this is my one and probably the largest complaint I have about this device in general is just the fact that it has such a short amount of battery life to it. So on a normal day, I have to charge this every single night when I go to bed. And that might not seem too bad, but if you're forgetful or accidentally, you know, don't put it on the charger properly or forget it in the bathroom, like I do sometimes, you wake up and it's not charged at all and you can't get it charged in the morning when you're getting ready. So you just have to go throughout your day without a watch. So while this watch only has about 18 to 20 hours of life in it, supposedly the Series 8 Apple Watch also only has 18 hours of life. However, they added a low power feature that extends the battery life to about 36 hours. And they tacked on some pretty cool features like some improved sleep tracking, things like that, that help if you're wanting to wear that watch overnight as well. But if you're stuck with the Series 5 like I am right now, you just gotta deal with it. But I have been able to get around the problem of waking up without it charged by using this little keychain charger that I bought. So if I'm out of the house and I need to charge it, or if I don't have access to a charging port, then I can bring this along with me and, and charge it from anywhere. And with the Garmin Instinct Solar on the battery life, this is probably my favorite feature and probably Matt's favorite feature about this watch as well. It just blows everything out of the water. So depending on the mode you have the Garmin Instinct Classic in, it can go anywhere from 16 hours to 14 days without charging, but that's the Instinct Regular. This is the Solar Edition. The Solar Edition actually has a solar panel in the face of the watch itself. And because of that, you're able to extend the battery life without having to plug it into the charger every single time. So right now it has about 15 days of charge left on it, but it's been pretty rainy and pretty gross outside, so there hasn't been a whole lot of sun to charge it. And if he's out in the sun a lot, he might rack up anywhere between 28 to 30 extra days of battery life. And as far as ratings go, the Apple Watch did disappoint a little bit, so it only gets two out of five in this category, but the Garmin Instinct Solar went above and beyond. It deserves an extra star, so it gets six out of five. All right, and onto our next category, we have workout tracking. So on the Apple Watch Series 5, whenever you do the workout mode, it has lots of different workouts to choose from when you're selecting. And it features a live heart rate as well as a newly updated version has these zones that you are in when you're working out. And these zones are based on your heart rate and your specific heart rate max with those percentages associated. And especially when you're doing the running feature or any of the other outdoor walk, those types of features, it'll also track your distance and it'll track how many calories you've burned as well as that live heart rate again. And with the new Series 8 Apple Watch, it's said to even track your ground contact time, your stride length, and the routes that you take during your runs. So that's pretty cool. And when you finish a workout, you can go back into the Apple Fitness app and check out how that workout was. You can see a distribution of where your heart rate was throughout the workout and see some other key features in that too. As far as the Garmin goes, it has a lot of the same great features. It has a wide selection of activities to choose from as you're scrolling, as well as that live heart rate with calories burned. And after you finish your workout, you can go back into the Garmin app and it'll show you an even more detailed breakdown of that workout. This is a great watch for Matt specifically because Matt loves running. And so after a run, he's able to see exactly where he was, when his pace picked up along his route, and a lot more features there for running in those outdoor activities. So overall, these watches have some pretty great workout features involved. Let's get to rating them. 
So the zones on the Apple Watch are pretty new and I still haven't experimented too much with them, but to my knowledge up until this point, they still seem a little bit vague. I really love my zone and I am just a big proponent of my zone and the zones that come on there are a lot more distinct and defined. So the Apple Watch is kind of lacking in that area to me. I might change my mind once I get a little bit more familiar with the zones on Apple, but for now, my rating on this is four out of five stars. And on the Garmin side, Matt absolutely loves the running features on this watch, and so he gave this one a five out of five. And next up, we have some app integration. So the Apple has a lot of great Apple apps that you can use with the watch and some fun apps that you can also download onto the watch and use from there. The fact that you can call and text from the watch was revolutionary. Coming from just your standard Walmart watch was phenomenal. That was the best change, honestly, and a huge lifesaver for me. It's also fantastic because I used to ask my husband all the time, where's my phone? Now on the Apple Watch, I can just slide up and I can hit ping and it'll ping my phone from across the house and I don't have to worry about bothering him with that question constantly. It was honestly a lifesaver for him too. <laughs> So like I said, it also has several Apple apps it connects to, like Apple Health, Apple Watch, and Apple Fitness. We've already looked at the fitness app a little bit, but it also keeps track of your health stuff. If you go into the health app and you add things like body weight, you can do your ECG on the watch and it uploads onto Apple Health. You can do period tracking and all these other features on there as well. And the watch app is also pretty neat because you can customize the face of your watch. Plus the Apple Watch Series 8 has a brand new feature involving crashes or falls. So if the Apple Watch senses an airbag coming off and feeling that impact in the watch, or if it senses you falling, then it will automatically ask you if you are okay and if you need to call 911. So that's a pretty cool feature. So the one major drawback with an Apple Watch is the fact that it is an Apple product and Apple is very exclusive with their line of products. Because of this, the Apple Watch is not compatible with other types of phones. So you have to have an iPhone if you have an Apple Watch. That's the end of the story. And as far as the Instinct Solar goes, it has a lot of pre-installed, ready-to-use apps on it. So you've got a lot of great preset options, but you can't draw from the App Store like you can on the Apple. The app itself is also just really easy to use and very intuitive, so it is just a great complement to this watch. One big drawback in this area is the fact that it can only receive incoming calls and incoming texts. However, you can't send texts or make any outgoing calls on the phone. So let's go ahead and rate these guys. So because of the ease and convenience of all the different features available on the Apple Watch, it scored pretty high, but the fact that it's Apple and the exclusivity factor there kind of knocks it down one rung. So we scored four out of five stars on the Apple Watch and on the Garmin in this area. We love the app and it is super easy to use and intuitive. However, the fact that you can't download apps onto it or send any outgoing calls and texts, it just is a little lackluster in this area as well. So this one is going to get three out of five. And next up, my favorite category is activity tracking. So these are activity trackers, so they better have a lot of great activity tracking features. And they do. Both of these watches are fantastic at tracking heart rate, standing time, steps taken, ECG, flights, climb, distance, walked, O2 saturation, and sleep tracking. Mine is my Series 5, which doesn't have the O2 saturation or the sleep tracking, but that's okay. The Series 8 does have it. One thing I absolutely love about the activity tracking on the Apple Watch is it has its rings. The rings are a super visual and motivative way to get people to close their rings and be a little bit more active throughout the day. On the Apple Watch, we have a ring for our calories burned, we have a ring for stand time, and we have a ring for activity or workout time. It makes it almost into a little game and it's super fun and rewarding when you get that little buzz that you closed your rings. So because both of these watches hit all the target features that we wanted on activity tracking, they both received five out of five stars. And finally, our last category here is community and extra features. So the community features on the Apple Watch are pretty cool. You get a notification every time a friend of yours finishes a workout. You can also see where your friends are in closing their rings throughout the day. So if your friend is a little behind on their activity minutes, you can say, hey, come on to the gym with me later on and we'll close our rings together. So I won't show you my community page specifically because I have clients on there and I don't want their names out on YouTube. And as a trainer, this is a pretty cool feature too because I can encourage my clients to move more throughout the day to close their rings or congratulate them on finishing a workout. And as far as the extra features go on the Apple Watch, it's pretty nice. They have a lot of really great preset little apps that are involved like the timer, the stopwatch. I use those quite a bit with training. Um, I also use the temperature <laughs> so I don't have to constantly ask Matt, hey, how cold is it outside? Do I need to wear a jacket today? I can just look at my watch and know. 
And one of my favorite things about the Apple Watch is that you can add accessories to it. This is one of my favorite watch bands. It's braided fabric that is super stretchy and super breathable during a workout. And it's just my favorite, I love it. And because I'm a klutz and I work at a gym and there's lots of heavy machinery and I knock against it all the time, I sometimes wear a screen protector on my screen as well that helps protect the corners and edges of the glass so that I don't bump it against any machinery. And as far as the Garmin Instinct Solar goes, it has a lot of really cool extra features and community things as well. You can see how people are going, you can see their workouts that they log, things like that. My husband does not actually have any connections on his, so we can't see his community page either. But just know that you can also see your friends' workouts and stuff like that on the Garmin app too. And one of Matt's favorite things about this watch, surprisingly to me, is the fact that it's not a touchscreen. He doesn't want a touch screen on his watch because he doesn't want to accidentally swipe it when he's not intending to. So this watch is great for someone who wants actual tactile buttons that you can press. And this is one of the areas where the Garmin really shines, especially if you're an outdoorsy person. Because this watch has several different features to track things outdoors, especially if you work outdoors a lot like my husband does. So the top three that Matt loves are the navigational features, the GPS, and even acreage calculations. It's been pretty darn accurate. And there are plenty of other features that he hasn't explored yet that are a little bit more outdoorsy. So if you're an outdoorsy person, then the Garmin might be a better choice for you too. And so we're gonna go ahead and rate these. The Apple Watch on this section is going to get five out of five and the Garmin on this section is gonna get five out of five as well. So the moment we've all been waiting for, the overall grand total on both of these watches, the rating they receive, the Apple Watch got 20 out of 25 and the Garmin, 24 out of 25. So both of these watches have some pretty great features and shine in their own ways. I absolutely love my Apple Watch. There's a few things I wish they could have done better. Definitely the battery life, but otherwise I still love it and I'm gonna keep on using it. And Matt absolutely loves his Garmin as well and is able to use it for his job. So if you have an Apple or a Garmin watch, did you agree, disagree, or did we miss something with this review? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you later. Stay healthy, bye. Thank you.